Hello friends, I am sure all of us have a container of baking soda in kitchen. Today we will discuss the top 10 uses of baking soda in garden and at the end of the video a very interesting baking soda garden hack coming up. Baking soda is 100% sodium bicarbonate used mainly for cooking purpose. Today I am gonna list out the top 10 benefits of baking soda for plants and garden. It is 100% biodegradable, non-toxic and inexpensive organic solution in gardening. The first benefit is its use as a pesticide and fungicide. You can make a very effective organic pesticide spray with baking soda to kill harmful pests and insects in garden like the powdery mildew, aphids, spider mites, slugs and snails and also fungal attacks. The formula here to make is uh, uh, 1 liter of water plus 1 teaspoon of baking soda plus 1 teaspoon of vegetable oil like olive oil plus 1 teaspoon of liquid soap or detergent. Mix it thoroughly and make a spray and apply on plants once a week. For slugs and snails, directly sprinkle the powder on the insects. The second uh, benefit is in killing cabbage worms. Mix 50% baking soda plus 50% flour like wheat flour and sprinkle on the cabbage or broccoli leaves. The worms munch on this and die within one or two days. Then the third benefit is cleaning plant foliage that is cleaning the plant leaves to remove dust and dirt which encourages better photosynthesis and thus the better health of the plants. Use a half a teaspoon of baking soda in one liter of water and use a soft cloth to mop the leaves. And the fourth benefit is to clean garden tools, pots and garden furniture. Use 1 to 2 teaspoons baking soda plus 1 to 2 teaspoons of liquid soap in 1 liter of water for this purpose. Then the fifth benefit is sprinkle baking soda on your compost pile to drive away the foul smell. Then the sixth benefit is to encourage flower blooming like spray a solution of 1 teaspoon baking soda in 1 liter of water on the flowering plants. Then the seventh benefit is you can get sweeter tomatoes if you sprinkle the powder around the tomato plants on the soil. Then the eighth benefit is it's used as a weed killer. Sprinkle it on the tufts of weed, it will burn the foliage and the weeds will fade and disappear within a few days. Then the ninth benefit is to keep cut flowers fresh. Just add one teaspoon of baking soda into the vase water. Then now the tenth and the last one is the hack. Actually the baking soda hack to test the soil pH without any gadget. You need baking soda and vinegar that is acetic acid to perform this pH test on your garden soil. Collect two samples of your garden soil in small containers from different uh, areas of your garden. I have chosen here two different samples of soil and also take a half cup of vinegar and half cup of baking soda. This is simple school chemistry. This is based on the acid plus base reaction. Acidic pH is below 7, alkaline is above 7 and 7 is the neutral pH or the water pH. So when you pour the vinegar into one of the soil samples and if the soil begins to bubble, it is alkaline meaning the pH level is above 7. If there is no reaction, take your other sample and pour in half cup of water and then add baking soda to it and then stir it. If the soil bubbles, it means the pH level is below 7 and it is acidic soil. There is also a soil pH testing meter available online. The link is provided in the description. So there we have it folks, there are, those were the 10 benefits of baking soda and gardening. If you like the video, please hit a thumbs up button and also please comment on the video and share your thoughts and ideas. Happy gardening!